Hello and welcome back to the channel and there's a lot of new people here as well since the whole Diddy thing went off at the weekend so welcome to you two. First off I want to say a massive thank you for the overwhelming amount of support since then. Because of all the support and all the questions we have decided to do a Diddy video so today myself and Matt are going to be taking you through the basics on the Diddy stones and what you can do to set yourself up for a perfect lift. Also, there will be a video coming out very soon about the Arnold and the competition that I did. Obviously, I was doing a whole series up to the competition, which went really well, but was kind of overshadowed uh, by the whole Dinny thing. So, keep tight. Hope this video is really useful. Comment below on what you found most helpful. Let us know what you're doing when you're attempting the Dinnies, etc. And hope you enjoy it. Okay, first things first. You need to get yourself a pair of pins. These are Killer Strength Scotland that unfortunately are not made anymore, but no. in the UK you can get Cerberus or... Gordon Ingram also makes them, who is a local Scottish man <laughs> and has lifted the Denise Stones as well. Yes, and then you said Rogue do Yeah, them. Rogue make them as well. So yeah, you can get them from a load of different places. When you're training, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I, When I've trained my clients, I like to use the 77 percentage rule, so your smaller stone will always be 77% of the larger one, but you was also just mentioning about 40 kilo gap. Yeah, the 40 kilo gap. You just want to get used to lifting with an imbalance, basically, is yeah. the rule. So in terms of setting up the pins, here you can see the plates are touching, but talk to us a little bit about when you're doing it with the stones, because you, you will have seen on the record attempt, Matt set everything up for me. <laughs> yeah. So basically, on the stones themselves in Scotland, there's a flat side on the big one and also with the nose on the other side. You want the flat side to be alongside the flat side of the little one so the pins are closest together so that you have the easiest lift possible. Also, there is another way that Brett Nicholl, the man that's lifted them more than anybody else, <laughs> has, um, he puts the, the nose of the bigger stone pointing towards the lower and, and you can also use the momentum of the heavy side of the stone to rock up and the lift is also easy. Mm -hmm. That's how I've done my first ever dinny lift, actually. Yeah, I really like the way you set it for me with the two flat sides together. I just find, like, I can get in a better stance, otherwise it's too far yeah. apart. Um, so, talking off stance, let's go through how how do I need to stand when I'm doing a dinny lift? Yeah, basically, you don't want to be stood, like I always say, people with their <laughs> feet right into the stones, and then they go grab the pins. <laughs> you do see actually quite a lot of people doing that, but you're going to be throwing <laughs> no. your back off yeah. and it's never going to happen. So basically, the straddle lift itself, it's a Jefferson, so it's basically a squat. So you want to find yourself over the top of the bigger stone. What I say myself is um, right arm, right into the right hand side of your crotch. And then that area there is right over the big stone, as you can see Chloe's doing now. And then her left arm is going to go onto her left bum cheek, and she'll find that smaller handle. <clears throat> so here you can see Chloe's right over the top of the bigger stone. She's going to be driving her hips forward towards that bigger stone, and that's where all the momentum is going to be going. And your focus really needs to be on that bigger stone, as that's what will make the lift easy. Mm -hmm. And then just before we go through the lift, um, grip. So a lot of people commented on the video like, oh my god, her grip must be crazy, but I cheated. So um, a lot of people with Dini so it's most people, um, most people use hook grip. So <coughs> that is where, so the ring's here, thumb in and around, and then other fingers over the top. So it kind of locks in. Hook grip is the strongest grip you can have. Really. It's like a yeah. vice. Straps without straps. So. Um, you will have seen I tried with the tape, but the tape wasn't so good, so I took it off and actually it felt really nice without tape, but yeah. tell them what you use. I do use normal first aid fabric tape. Um, there is a certain way that I do wrap around my thumb, which I'll probably show people if they ask me, <laughs> if they're interested. <laughs> <laughs> but that is just to basically, during training, it just stops the wear and tear on your thumbs so you can train more often. Mm -hmm. Back onto these. So. Got my stance right, we're upright, right arm. Obviously, some people do it the other way around as well. Some people lift 
Yeah, it's um, our it's friend. Our friend Stig. His dominant hand is his left. Uh -huh. So he basically set the stones up the, the opposite way, yeah. and it's the same same sort of concept. Okay, so we're here. A lot of people laughed at the hip thrust on the video, um, but it is just to get that momentum. So if I'm here, I'm not upright, whereas when I do that hip thrust, it enables me just to get into that right position. So all I need to do now is straighten the legs, and that's it. Yeah. Simple as. So it's a pretty easy lift once you've got it right, and I think there's a lot to be said for just practicing that technique at such a light weight and yeah. mastering that before you try and get anywhere near did anyway, because if you practice within, like, what's the word? If you practice with an inefficient stance and technique and go heavier, like, you're going to be cutting yourself short. So that's the straddle. Matt has lifted them side by side. Yeah. Which I have not tried. So, Matt, talk us, talk us through side by side and how we'd go about that. Yeah, so for side by side, for me, uh, I'm not basically the best deadlifter in the world. Oh, I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> And um, it's got better with some uh, holistic strength coaching programming. It has, yeah. <laughs> but for me, to go away from that deadlift sort of area, I wouldn't want to be setting up the stones with them in front of me. Or else that's going to be basically asking me to do it all with my back. For me, it's more of like a hack squat, so I can use my quads and drive into it more. And also, if you are in the deadlift stance, the stones will be dragging up your shins and you'll basically be pulling the stones into you, which makes it harder. I'd set up with my ankles just in front of the pins here the stones are behind me when I drive through so here and the stones are behind my legs rather than in front um, perfect example of the side by side lift is Mark Haydock he's basically the world's best and if you want to check him out he is on Instagram yes goat of Denny Stone so he's. I've not done side by side before so <clears throat> Do you want to talk me through, like, because this is like teaching a beginner because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So if you teach me, that might help other people. So for you, you are a, a little a little woman. Yeah. You would want your feet to be a little narrower than me because you are not as broad. So you probably want to bring stones in a little bit more. Yeah. You can see here that Chloe's ankles are in line with the front of the pins. And then latch on. Set this your grip off. so natural. <laughs> yeah. So with your hips, they're going to be driving straight through the front. You want to try and get your hips through as quick as possible. Okay. And then as soon as that happens, the stones will go gradually behind you. Yep. In a way. Yep. Um, so as you go, you want to be tight in the back, chest proud. Squeeze your oranges between your arms to get yep. your legs. Your back will round at the top. Don't worry about it. It's the bottom of the back that you want to worry about. So then set up. Yep. Brace hard. Bracing is the most important thing, especially with the imbalance of the weight. Yeah, that is so different and like the imbalance is way more obvious on that yeah. than it is. Like on the straddle, I don't notice no. the difference between the weights where that, that was like, <clears throat> like that's only 45 kilo. Yeah. And I was like, whoa. So... Be, be be aware of that if you're going for side by side because that yeah. is that's a different ball game. Yeah, well, with the straddle lift, the imbalance isn't as dominant, should I mm. say, because you are right on top of that heavy stone that will set you off balance. I guess with the side by side lift, you've basically got 188 kilo in one hand and 140 <laughs> in the other, and it's going to be making you rock. So make sure you're bracing hard. And you just get everything set and ready, and you'll get the lift. Mm -hmm. I guess the only other thing is you'll see I'm wearing my boots a lot of people comment out on that in the video and that is because historically when I've done stone lifts I've struggled with clearance like I've been strong enough to do it yeah. but I haven't been able to get them as high off the ground as I'd like because I'm not that tall so by wearing the boots it just gives me a couple of inches so I can get the clearance and it also feels really stable like I can get a really good stance in those and my feet aren't moving anywhere so some advice for my smaller guys and gals out there. Yeah, bigger guys, don't listen to clothes advice. <laughs> you, don't. you don't want to be wearing hiking boots or else you will be higher off the ground. Me, myself, I'm a taller guy. I'd use Vans, you know, your Converse, your shoes that are flat to the ground. As you want to be making a lift as easy as possible. For Chloe and shorter people, wear hawker boots because you need to get that clearance as it is hard sometimes. 
for Diddy people. <laughs> yes, but it can be done. It can be done and it has been done. So I've really enjoyed putting this video together. I yeah. hope that you guys have found it helpful. If you would like to see any more Diddy content or you have any other questions, do pop it down in the comments below. If you're new here and you haven't seen us before, do make sure you subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, and we'll see you at the next one. Whoa, we're not done yet. Me and Chloe will <laughs> yes. be bringing out an ebook shortly. Yeah. Within the next couple of days, so make sure you watch out on Chloe's profile, on Chloe Brennan X, which you probably all know because you're watching her <laughs> YouTube right now, and also I'll be posting that on mine, which is Matt O. Jones. Mm -hmm. all right. We're hoping to put the book up on the website, so that is www.holisticsc.co.uk. So keep your eyes, pe eyes peeled for that within the next week or so. We're hoping that will be available for you. So. Now can I say? You can, she can say. Catch you at the next one. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. <laughs>